do another speed run blast by because my autofocus does not want to focus. I don't understand. Easy, Frank. Ah! Is this thing working? Yeah, it's flashing. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's flashing, it's working. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Shay from Electric MX here, got Poly Productions putting it down on the, another edit for you guys to see what, what we getting into here. I got my brother uh, Bill, the e-bike builder master, behind me here, just helped me out with another project here. So this is a bike for my son. This uh, started as a 1999 Cobra 50. A lot of you guys racing would remember these back in the day. And uh, we, we tried something a little different this time with a, with a hub motor setup. 1000 watt rated hub motor with, uh, with a 72 volt battery custom built with custom BMS in there of course. And a far drive, five th uh, far drive 300 controller yeah, on this one. 72 300. Yeah, the 530 is what we put on the Nikon afterwards. That was the sweet mod we did there. So this is a little, little bit smaller uh, amp capable controller. So it's 300 amp rated for a small for a smaller build. This is a smaller bike and uh, works out pretty good. Th this bike here, uh, you're able to get a lot bigger battery as you can see in this area. You can fit a bigger battery with the hub motor because there's no mid drive motor getting in your way, taking up space, no chain, a lot less noise with these hub drive, hub drive motors, right? It's just di directly there. Bill ran into a couple things he had to do with this hub to fit it on this chassis. He had to slightly widen the, the swing arm. You'll see a lot of the professional custom welds that he had to do to make this work properly for, for us. So Bill was able to custom build this battery box and put an XT90 charging adapter. So he hooked me up with a custom variable charger, which is very common in the e-bike world. So now I can crank it up to 12, it goes up to 12 amps, 12, uh, 12, 1200 watts, it goes 16. Yeah, you okay. can do a fast charge. Or yeah, a slow so you charge. can crank up the amps to charge the battery as fast as you want or cool it down to as low as two amps, I believe was like the low point on it. To, to do a trickle charge on your battery, a little, a little gentler on it as you're charging, right? Because the more amps you cram into your battery, it's just a little bit harder on it, but of course it gets you charged faster, so sometimes at the race, that's what you gotta do. So here it's pretty pretty simple bike for the kid to get on. You just simply hit the on switch, it'll beep and let it know it's activated. It will continue to beep if there's an issue uh, communicated between the motor to the to the, I think it's through the hull sensors to the controller saying that it's moving or saying that there's some problem. So you turn it on, the voltage is displayed here showing uh, 78 volts right at this moment. We've took it for a couple test drives here. And then we also have our speed one, two, and three settings on here for, for my son. Speed one is pretty comfortable. You can see, give her a little, little twist, it's pretty, pretty calm. Then as soon as you, you, you'll change it to speed two now in the central position and sh she'll yank a little bit harder. Bill also custom put the, the floating rear brake assembly on there which is A++, really like that for the kid to get used to a normal foot brake. A lot of these e-bikes have the handbrake which is not good for racing in the long term. So now we'll hit speed three. And you can see the RPMs increase. So. Right now, Bill has this bike set to uh, just 75% at the bottom end, and at the top, it's like in the five to 10% range. So this has a lot more capabilities, but it's not not needed. And for safety and for everything, we don't we don't need it to be extremely fast and push the limits. We're we're pushing it, but not going over the top. Where you'll see some guys where they'll have a lot of failures. We kind of test things out and see where we can get comfortable and go from there. If you want your bike to be faster, if you want it to be fa uh, like crazy psychotic, you go with a bigger controller, you go with a bigger battery, you go with a bigger motor. This is the build for my son again, like I said, so I, I would say it's perfect 
We want uh, reliability. We want reliability, dependability, and and runtime and function. We want to be yeah. able to send our kids to the track and have a good time, just like all their buddies, right? Except we don't have to worry about nothing on this bike. There's 99% zero maintenance to do on this bike. Possibly brake pads on the back. It's stock drums on the front, ironically, on this 99. So, yeah, essentially zero maintenance bike, which is great for kids and your wife's taking them to the track. Just like you see them KTM e-bikes. The, the mom shows up, pulls it out of her SUV. There's no oil leaking. There's nothing to maintain. No oil filter, no oil, no air filter. Just ride the bike and have fun. So we'll show you now how this bike rips and we'll do a couple speed tests on it. First gear, Let's see what you've got. So, like I say, here, let me, uh, where you go, turn it back on. So, what I want to do is we'll change the throttle line for the little guy. And I'll show you. Communication, scan, connect, go to parameters. So, throttle step is set really high right now. And it's, oh, it's on line. It's not even on sport mode. You should <laughs> see what sport mode does. It'll, it'll wheelie like, like there's no tomorrow. So we'll put it on eco for the little guy. We'll turn the throttle step down a bit. We'll try uh, 160. And it's at 222, right? Or 224 right now? Yep. Okay. Okay, there. Now I would say try the throttle and okay. see. It should be a little bit more mellower so that he won't uh, go crazy with it. It should still have a lot of power, but not as snappy. Yeah. Way more lin linear, right? Yeah. E eco throttle, so it's not going to peak so hard. Mm -hmm. It'll still have all the same top speed, but it'll just take a little bit longer to get there. Mm -hmm. And so the little guy can't cartwheel it if he gets whis whiskey throttle. Right. He'll end up cartwheeling it. This way it mellows it out for him. Okay. Awesome. And I can see Shay's not doing the wheelies, so that's good. So see, it's got all the speed, but it's just a little more mellower yeah. on the throttle. Yeah, right? that's perfect. I think he'll be able to get comfortable in speed three like that. Yeah. Like I say, just so it won't be so snappy. Mm -hmm. I like it.